That's all just gossip. He simply needs to practice more. He doesn't even know how to hold a sword. What do we have here? Don't I know you from somewhere? Who wants to know? I'm Buster, one of Lee's mercenaries. And you had better be a little nicer to me, or I'll have your hide. All right, what do you want here? That's none of your business. Nobody talks to me like that, you worm. I think it's time to kick your butt. Let him have it! Mm, not bad. Well, we'll see the next time. All right, all right, you're the better fighter. What do you want? Can you teach me how to fight better? I might well be able to give you a hint or two. I want to find out more about the mercenaries in this region. I can't tell you much about this region. You'd better ask the farmers. And as for us mercenaries... We have a very simple rule. If you can stand your ground, you're in. I think you're made of the right stuff to be one of us. But you shouldn't let it get to your head that you lucked out during our last fight. There are plenty of guys on the farm who are quite a bit better than I am. Sentenza, for one. He guards the entry to the farm. Whatever you do, don't pick a fight with him. What about this Sentenza? He'll try to squeeze some gold out of you when you come to the farm. He does that to all newcomers. And if I were you, I'd pay up. That's what I did back then. And the good thing was that he voted for me afterwards. One good turn deserves another, he said. I lost all my gold in the bargain, but it wasn't much to begin with. And I was glad of it in the end. I once watched him beat up a fellow who had decided not to pay him. Thanks for the hint. Indeed. Could it be worth anything to you? Here you are. Five gold pieces. Yeah, thanks, man. Looks like I can take a few tonight after all. I won't forget this. I want to join the mercenaries. Anyone who can whack as hard as you shouldn't have too much trouble around here. My vote doesn't count much, since I haven't been here for long. But when Lee asks me, I'll vote for you. Wait a minute. Lee is the leader of the mercenaries, isn't he? Right. Hey, now I remember where I know you from. You were in the colony, too. Hmm, so I was. I didn't see you when the Big Bang happened. Not for a while before that, either. I had other problems. You've missed out on quite a lot, then. Things have changed since we were in the Slammer together. What became of the mercenaries in the colony? Once the barrier was gone, Lee let us out of the colony. He said that nothing could happen to us if we all stuck together. And he was right. It wasn't too long before we found ourselves a cozy spot right here. The landowner pays us to beat up the militia from the city. And most of us would have volunteered to do that even without pay. But Onar feeds us all, and we can bide our time until we see a good opportunity to get away from this blasted island. That was obvious all along. I've got no time for things like that. You listen to the wrong people.
What are you doing here? I'm preparing for battle. Why? Lately, the farmers have had more and more problems with field raiders. A few of them even managed to get themselves eaten. Fat Onar didn't exactly find that amusing. None of us got our pay for a week, and it was more or less my fault. Now Lee wants me to wipe out the creature's nest by myself, and the other boys have already made bets on whether I'll survive. Are you a good fighter? I'm fair with a sword, but with a bow, I'm very good. Why do you ask? Where's the nest? In the middle of the field here, in the big rock. We could attack that nest together. You want to help me? Why? I want to see some gold. <laughs> you bastard. You want to take advantage of my situation, huh? Either I pay you, or I bite the dust. All right, I can pay you 50 gold pieces. That's all I got. Let's attack the nest. Right now? Or do you need to equip yourself first? You could go back to the farm first. There's no time like the present. Good. Then let's see what you got. There's another of those scummy beasts. One less monster around. There's another of those scummy beasts. One less monster around. There's another of those scummy beasts. One less monster around. So, this is where they dragged the dead farmers. Disgusting. The filthy things should all be wiped out now. Let's go back. Wait a minute. What about our agreement? Hey, you wanted to take advantage of my situation. Now I'm taking a bit of advantage of you. But look at the bright side. You had a learning experience. That's something, isn't it? I think your hide could do with another tanning. I don't like having my leg pulled. Don't make me cry. Oh man, my head. Nothing to be had there. Nothing to be had there. Where do you think you're going? How would that be any concern of yours? 
<sighs> then I'll have to explain it to you carefully. And now for the fun part. Parry that after. Parry that after. Let that be a lesson to him. Where do you think you're going? I wanted to have a look around, that's all. <laughs> There's a heap of trouble here for men like you. Are you telling me you just want to look around? Ha! So you're headed for the farm. Why else would you have trudged all the way here, hmm? So don't give me any of that bullshit, and let me search you and you can go on your way. Suit yourself. Search me then. Now then, let's see what we have here. Ah, gold. It can be very dangerous carrying so much gold around. A lot of mercenaries are real cutthroats, not honest fellows like me. I only want 50 gold pieces from you. That's the toll here. And you only need to pay once. That's fair, isn't it? I have come to join you. Nice for you. Do you understand that the mercenaries are going to vote whether you get to join them or not? Will you vote for me? But then, why not? Fifty gold pieces is a fair price for a vote, don't you think? And? How are things? Not many people come this way, but up to now every one of them has paid my toll. Care less. I never knew that. What do you want? I'm staying out of it. I'm in enough trouble as it is. I want to have a look around the farm. Don't go into the building on the left. Silvio's in there. He's not in a good mood right now. If he sees a weakling who doesn't belong on the farm, he might get the idea of venting his bad mood on forever. I'm staying out of it. Can't rely Who is on Silvio? Our scary. next leader, if you ask me. <laughs> if you plan on asking him if you can join us, forget it. Can't you look like you're barely you good for herding that. sheep. And there's more, believe me. It's a bad business. I want to join up with Lee. Lee won't have much to say around here if he keeps on this way. What do you mean? He wants us all to sit around here and twiddle our thumbs. Intimidate a few farmers now and then, and that's it. Silvio always says offense is the best defense, and damn right he is. No one really wants to hear that. Have fun. I'm staying out of it. I wouldn't be so sure. What's up? Uh, since Onar announced he was hiring mercenaries, the court's been overflowing with nothing but rogues. All the rabble who didn't have the guts to come out of the woods before are here now. The bastards really came from everywhere. You hardly know who to believe these days. The mercenaries came from everywhere? Most of them came from the penal colony. Another group of mercenaries came from the south, where they were probably hunting orcs. I bet that a few of the bandits from the mountains have shown up as well by now to get a free what meal, huh? What's up? Uh, since Onar announced he was all the, the best. That's all just gossip. The things I could that tell was you. quite obvious. Better off myself. That's no secret. All that matters is. Hey, you! So don't tell me that. It had to happen sooner or later. It's a bad business. Can you teach me how to handle two-handed weapons? Listen, boy. It takes a lot of strength to wield a two-handed weapon. Why don't you slink off to the pasture for a game of Ring Around the Rosie with the sheep? That was no big deal. You already know to believe these You don't have to tell me that. I am strong enough. Nonsense. You couldn't even lift a decent sword like mine. You already know to believe these And that's the truth. I said, I am strong enough. Oh, you're killing me. 
Want to risk a little bet? Just listen to him talk. Where did you pick that up then? I bet I can handle your sword. Really? Hmm. How much should I relieve you of? Well, you look like a poor sucker. Let's make it 30 gold pieces. Do you even have that much? Sure. Let me see then. Here. All right, let's see how strong you are. About this strong. Looks like you got me there. I never expected that. You really don't look like you have that much strength in you. Well, I guess I just lost 30 gold pieces. Here you are. Now give me back my weapon. I've got no time for things like that. I think not. What was that? I think I'm going to keep it a little longer. Just you wait, you bastard. You really should have known better. I've heard a thing or two. They're smashing ah, each other now. Here, he really said. Don't take Ouch. any crap. That hurt. Oh, who's boss? That hit the spot. Hang Go on. Hit back. Go Hang ahead. on. Hit back. Don't take Ouch. any crap. That hurt. Watch out. That hurt. Oh, hit back. Hmm, not bad. Uh, I'm staying out of it. I'm staying out of it. I've got no time for things like that. It was just like you said. Don't you try that again. Wait a minute. All right, you win. What do you want? How are things? What do you want from me, weenie? That's no secret. His decision, wasn't it? Here's your sword back. High time, too. I'm staying out of it. Can you teach me how to handle two handed weapons? I'm not a bad fighter, but that doesn't mean I'm a good teacher. Still, I think I can show you the basics of two handed combat anyway. And that's the truth. I want to join the mercenaries. Okay, I don't carry grudges. You can fight, and that's what counts. Most of the lads here think nothing of a little brawl amongst friends. You'll get used to that. As far as I'm concerned, you're in. I want to improve my two-handed fighting skills. Same old thing all over again. I've got no time for things like that. That's really not my problem. Nobody wants to know. to step in and sort things out. All that matters yeah, is so to believe these days. Don't tell me that. That's the first time. Hello, pretty girl. Hmm. Just where did you escape from? They say you are revolting against the king. My father has decided that it's time we defended ourselves. The militia never helped us anyway. They only came here to drag off our provisions. What kind of work is to be had here on the farm? My father pays money to all the men who help defend the farm. Are you interested? You don't look like someone who has a passion for field labor. How much does your father pay? You'd have to negotiate that with him. All I know is that each mercenary here gets paid every day. Are there any rules here that I should stick to? You don't touch anything here that isn't yours. You stay away from the areas that are none of your business. And if you must pick a fight, stick to the mercenaries. If you start a brawl with the farmers, everybody here will be against you. What's your job here? I sell the goods that we produce. If you want to buy something, just let me know. But let me warn you, I won't stand for either haggling or stealing, understood? Show me your wares. What can I offer you? That was nothing amazes me anymore. Has anything significant happened lately? A few days ago, my father decreed that we're no longer allowed to sell anything in town. So now I'm staying here on the farm and selling my wares to visitors only. Don't tell me you didn't know that. You have to step in. Doing all right? Hey, I know you. From the colony. What do you want here? You have to step in and sort things Can you teach me anything? I can teach you a few tricks in handling a bow if you want. 
I don't have anything better to do right now anyway. It's the first I heard of anything about me that. Me anymore. Do you have anything to sell? Oh, don't ask. Bennett, one of the new guys, takes care of the weapons and armor now. In the colony, I was responsible for Lee's entire weapons store. And then along came a trained smith and pow, I'm out of a job. I desperately need a new job, even if all I do is guard the farms out there. I don't care, just as long as I'm not twiddling my thumbs here anymore. Nothing amazes me anymore. Have you tried finding a job in town? In the city? <laughs> Wild horses couldn't drag me there. Or do you think I would want to work there as a militia soldier? I can just imagine myself in the courtier's uniform. And then that obsession with obedience. Nah, forget it. There may not be anything to do here on the farm, but at least I can do what I want. I've come to join you. Why not? I've got nothing against it. Anyway, you freed our mind from the guards back then. But don't count on getting along with the others here so easily. A lot of newbies have come along since then. And some of the old mercenaries won't remember you. I almost didn't recognize you. You look rather haggard. When the barrier fell, I barely got away with my life. Looks like you got lucky then. He doesn't even know how to hold us some people. Don't say you pick that up. Nobody will do anything How are things? Hey! Don't I know you from somewhere? It's possible. I used to deal in swamp weed back in the colony. Remember? I agree with you completely. Nobody will learn anything. And what are you dealing in now? Ah, don't ask. I brought a whole package of swamp weed with me from the mining colony. Many of the mercenaries like a little smoke now and then. I've earned a small fortune on the side. But some bastard stole all the weed from my chest. I'm pretty sure it was that Bodo. He bunks in the same room as me, and he always grins at me like such an idiot. Show me your wares. I don't have any swamp weed at the moment. Do you want something else? What are you going to do about the thief, then? One of these days, I'll catch him puffing away on my weed. And then, I'll find a quiet spot and teach him a lesson he won't forget. If I knock him down here in the middle of the yard, the other farmers will notice, and I'll pay an arm and a leg. How come? Quite simple. We can't rough up the farmers, otherwise Lee makes us pay a heavy fine. That's the way Onar wants it. And the more witnesses there are, the more of a fuss there is. That makes things more expensive. So I'll pull the thing off nice and inconspicuously. I want to join Lee's people. Lee's people? If Lee keeps on this way, they soon won't be his anymore. Why? Lee has always been a quiet one. It was that way in the colony, too. But lately, he's overdoing it. He just wants to sit here and wait until the paladins drop dead from starvation. Silvio thinks we should clean up a bit on the small farms and outside the city. I think that would make for an excellent change. At the moment, most of us are just twiddling our thumbs here. Do you want to join up anyway? I want to become one of you no matter what. You already know that we take a vote on every new recruit. What are you hinting at? Well, I haven't had any of the smoke in a long time. Bring me a few swamp weed reapers and you got my vote. You can surely scare some up someplace. About the swamp weed. Here's a few stocks for you. Oh, you are my man. You've got my vote. That's really not true. I do not sell any weapons. Khaled does. He's in the house with Onar. really not my problem. What kinds of weapons do you make? Plain swords at the moment, not much else. But if I had some magic ore, I could forge weapons that are better than all comparable weapons made from regular old steel. You wouldn't happen to know where to find some around here. Besides, in the Valley of Mines, I mean. No. Of course not. Are you with the farmers or the mercenaries? You're pulling my leg, aren't you? I was just curious. Have you ever seen a farmer who also forges weapons? No. Then why do you ask such stupid questions? That was obvious as to what I heard. Can you teach me how to forge a sword? 
Sure, that'll cost you a bit, though. Let's say 30 gold pieces. Fine, here's 30 for you. And that was a damn good price, too. We can start as soon as you're ready. Teach me how to forge magic ore weapons. But you don't even know the basics. First, you need to learn how to forge a decent sword. Then we'll see. I want to join the mercenaries. Stop blabbering, then. Go to Torloth and let him put you to the test. I've got my own to pick that up, then. What about forging equipment? What do you need? Teach me how to forge a sword. It's quite simple. Get yourself a piece of raw steel and hold it in the fire until it glows. Then put it on the anvil and hammer the blade into shape. Most important, watch out that the blade doesn't get too cold. You only have a few minutes at a time to work on your weapon. The rest you can find out for yourself. It's merely a matter of practice. from somewhere it's possible I was in the colony too right what do you want how's the situation right now we've got real trouble two factions are building up amongst us mercenaries Sylvia and his people doubt that Lee is following the right plan how come there are two factions most of us came out of the colony with Lee back then but some of the mercenaries hooked up with us later. They didn't come from the colony, but were farther south fighting the Yorks. Somehow they got wind that Lee needed people. Their leader was Silvio. He agreed that Lee was in charge, but now he's trying to stir up the mercenaries against him and his plan. A lot of Lee's people don't think that it's a big problem, but I know guys like Silvio. He'll go to extremes to realize his ideas. Do you know what Lee's intentions are? Lee wants us to wait and starve the paladins in the city. He is planning to get us all away from the island, and Enos knows I've got nothing against getting away from here. I don't really know how he's planning to go about it, but I trust him. He's led us well so far. Do you know what Silvio is planning? Silvio found out that some of the paladins have moved out to the old colony. He says the rest of the paladins wouldn't dare to attack us here and wants to take advantage of the situation, plunder the small farms, waylay the militia patrols outside the city, hold up travelers, things like that. But Lee thinks that would be the worst thing we could do in our situation. I want to become a mercenary. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Where's the problem? Well, I either have to vote for you or against you. And in the situation we're in, I'll only vote for you if I can be sure that you're on Lee's side. So what should I do? Simple. Beat up a few of Silvio's boys. That way both sides will know exactly where you stand. And if you stick to the rules for a duel, you'll even win the respect of the others. What are the rules for a duel? Go to Torloff and let him explain it if you're interested. Just so we understand each other, I don't care if you stick to the rules or not, just as long as the boys wind up out cold in the mud. Which of the mercenaries are Silvio's men? There are six men. First of all, Silvio himself and his right-hand man, Bulko. Then there's Rod, Sentenza, Fester, and Raoul. The rest of the people are either neutral or on Lee's side. 
How many of Silvio's people should I defeat? If you knock three of them to the ground, then you've proven which side you're on. Whom you choose is your business. Just one little hint. This isn't about proving your courage. Don't go up against Silvio himself. He'll make mincemeat out of you. What are you doing here in my kitchen? Why haven't I heard about this? Something smells delicious here. Oh, yes. I know the likes of you. They're swarming all over the place. First, they try to get on your good side, and then when you need them, they're nowhere to be seen. I could tell you. I'm hungry. I don't dish out food to tramps. I only feed people who work. And that mercenary riffraff, of course. I told you that before. I'm looking for work. You want to work here on the farm? Only Onar can decide that. The farm is his. And so is the entire valley. I've got no time for things like that. I need a place to sleep. Don't even think about sleeping in my kitchen. Go find no yourself really a place in the here. barn. Actually, I was planning to join the mercenaries. So you're another of those That's felons no from the penal colony? I might have known. Just That's leave me exactly alone. There's already enough of your kind around here. He really should have known better. What's your problem with the mercenaries? Ah, oh, those morons really get on my nerves, especially Silvio and his fat buddy, Bulko. The two of them have been sitting in their corner for days now, making life miserable for me. The soup's too hot, the meat's too tough, etc. and so forth. Then why don't you do anything about it? And what am I to do, Mr. Smarty Pants? Whack them with my rolling pin? I can do that to the farmers, but these lowly... Bastards just hit back. It had to happen sooner or later. Want me to teach the two of them some manners? You better not try that, honey. As far as I know, Silvio has magic armor. He can't be defeated. What about Bulko? That guy is as strong as an ox. So far, he has flattened anyone who tried to mess with him again. or Silvio. That's nothing new. It has come to my attention that you have it in for my boys. And as far as I know, you're one of Lee's protégés. I'm warning you, a few things are going to be different around here soon, and we'll talk about this again then. We need to talk, you and I. What do you want? I think the best thing would be if you didn't show your face on the farm anymore. See to it that you're gone by tomorrow. We understand each other. Telling you anything new. You have to step in and sort things out. I can't help it. If he doesn't see that. Hey, you. What are you smoking there? Wanna toke? Sure. That's the truth. Not bad, huh? Where did you get the stuff? I have my sources. Do you do anything besides smoke? Not at the moment. I want to join the mercenaries. Do you mind? Who cares? Cypher told me that someone stole a package of swamp weed from him. <laughs> Would you know anything about that? No. Where's the package? What do I know? I'll knock it out of you. Relax, I'm way too stoned to fight with you. Here, first take a big toke. Where's the package? What do I know? 